someone who is trying to rapidly create microservices or APIs accessing enterprise resources or cloud data, starting to build microservices in a containerized environment, or are you someone who is trying to orchestrate and mediate APIs in order to target new channels or devices and has private cloud deployments running on-premise in AWS, in Azure, or others? And last but not the least, want a low learning curve for all of this? Well then, let me introduce Axway API Builder Standalone Edition. Axway API Builder Standalone Edition is a low-code, no-code approach to building APIs and microservices. It includes data connectors to allow you to quickly create an API layer on top of your databases, create integrations with other RESTful services really quickly. So let's get started and create an API using API Builder. This demo will show how API Builder Standalone Edition helps you easily create and orchestrate data sources in a containerized environment. Let's begin by installing the API Builder via NPM. Next is to initialize a new project. Let's call it My Project. This will create a directory for my project. Under the project folder, we install the dependencies. Now, we can start the API Builder project. Let's launch a browser, then point to the API Builder console. This is the default summary page for my project. This project is preloaded with sample APIs. Let's look at the greetings API and test it. Enter a username value as a parameter and then execute. So we receive a successful response. This is a simple way to validate the API builder. The API builder is also preloaded with a model default configuration files, and connectors. Well, how about enabling integrations and pre-built connectors? So now that the API Builder is installed in my development environment, it is very easy to create APIs based on the MySQL database. Let's stop this API Builder process first. I've already installed MySQL database in my system, so all I need to do is add the connector and configure it. To configure, we need to update the configuration file with the correct database name, user ID, and password. Now let's relaunch the console again. Refresh the browser. Notice that the MySQL tables are now available as models. Let's create the API endpoints from these models and test it. Generate endpoints for account. Test the API and we get a successful response. Let's verify it with a MySQL client. As you can see, we have the same data. This proves that the generated API is connected to the MySQL database. Let's generate the endpoints for the customer model. Then test it we also get a successful response. Let's also generate the endpoints for the branch model. Then test it. We also get a successful response. 
What about data orchestration? We can easily orchestrate these three APIs that were created without coding. We will create a new model that will aggregate the account, customer, and branch models. In this case, we need to create a composite model from the account model. Let's name it as customer profile. Then select the account field that will be used to join with the customer model. Now let's also add the branch model and select the account field that will be used to join with the branch model. Then save. Let's generate the endpoint for this new model. Then test by retrieving all the data. So we get a successful response and it shows all the aggregated data from account, customer, and branch model. What about running the API as a container? The last part of this demo is running it as a Docker container. Docker container enables the APIs to run in a microservice architecture. Let's build the Docker image. Then run the Docker image as a container. We can also check if the container is running successfully. Now let's test the API using the curl command. Let's get the API key first from the configuration file, then use it as a parameter. Now, run the curl command. As you can see, we're getting a successful response as well. Now that the API can run as a container, this can easily be hooked up with your DevOps pipeline to automatically deploy to test environment, then eventually to the production environment. So what are you waiting for? Start building your containerized services with API Builder, orchestrate them, and bring your existing services into your microservices architecture today. Music